Hi and welcome to the series of tutorials about creating air clothes, shoes, accessories and everything that can be presented as air fashion. And this is the first video where I'll show you how to create the air dress that moves like a real one with close simulation. But what is AR fashion, you can ask? AR fashion that includes uh, digital fashion, it's like a high-tech fashion makeover. It's when you use augmented reality to space up the fashion industry. Here are some common use cases of AR in the fashion. And uh, if you are familiar with uh, digital fashion, AR fashion, you can uh, skip it uh, right to the dress tutorial. First one, virtual try-on. AR fashion apps enable users to see how clothing items look on them in real time through their smartphone or computer cameras. This can help customers make more informed purchasing decisions when shopping online. Virtual fitting rooms Some brands and retailers have developed virtual fitting room experiences where customers can create digital avatars that accurately present their body shapes and try on different outfits virtually. Interactive shopping. AR can be used to create interactive shopping experiences, such as allowing users to see themselves in the brand products on the street or other public places. They come to the screen with the AR app and it looks like AR mirror. AR fashion shows. Fashion designers and brands use AR in their runway shows and marketing campaigns, offering audience a unique and immersive way to experience fashion events. AR accessories. Brands have also created AR accessories such as virtual eyewear, jewelry or makeup, which users can overlay onto their actual appearance using AR apps. Customization. Some fashion brands use AR to offer personalized clothing or footwear design experiences, allowing customers to choose colors, patterns and style to create unique products. I showed you only the primary use cases of AR, and you can think of even more mind-blowing ideas. It can be a very demanding skill to create AR clothes or accessories for brands and marketing campaigns. So today we will create AR dress with cloth simulation. Let's begin! First of all, you should download and install Snapchat Lens Studio. Just go to the Lens Studio website and download it. After the installation, open Lens Studio and in the Intermediate uh, Templates tab, you can find Close Simulation Try-On. We will work with this template. A bit about the interface. In the top left section, you place all the objects that appear in the effect. In the center is a scene where there is a camera and all your objects. You can rotate it to see its position and manipulate it. The next section displays all the details and possible adjustments for a certain object, script, material, and so on. The right section is where you can see how the effect actually looks. You can choose different preview modes, turn on your camera or upload a videos or pictures as a preview. The logger is where you will see important messages regarding effect processing or errors. Lastly, there is where you store all the objects that you can use, change and try for effect. Because this is a template for a more easy way to use, there are some default objects in the effect that we can use or modify. There are some essential elements of the effect that we shouldn't change for now such as the occluder of the body, blue one, which helps to hide some of the part of the body. I use a template in this video to show that there are some hints what exactly you can change. That makes it easier for beginners. So from this video you can understand how it works and smoothly use another template. So now we click on the dress object with the hint and look at the inspector where some settings of this object mesh the dress itself and material and the controls of uh, closed simulation. You can play with it later. We should change the mesh to our dress. 
For this code resources, open Meshes folder and find the same object as in the top section. So we should change this dry slow poly mesh to ours. Upload your 3D model of the dress in Land Studio. And I've already prepared 3D dress. It looks familiar to the default, but with some differences. And if you need it, you can find the link to the dress and all the resources in the description below. Let's talk about preparing a 3D model for this template with close simulation. There are two important things about a 3D model you should consider. First, the size of the 3D file. The effect can be more than 8 MB. Another important thing is vertex colors. These are parameters that show what parts should move and what parts shouldn't. Choose RGB and the red color for static and the color in green those parts you want them to move. Now we have a prepared file. Let's change the default one. You can see that the dress is falling, and this is because we should activate our close simulation parameters. For this, go to close simulation settings and choose red. Now the dress stays where it should be. Of course, you would like to change the material of the dress. To do it, click the dress in the top section and choose materials. But these are default materials. We want more fancy textures and play with them so you can find some nice materials in the Land Studio library. I chose a gold material and if you click on the material file, you can change its color and other characteristics. And here you can add texture for the material. I will use an image with space illustration. And a normal map is used to add a ribbon and roughness to add details to the texture and make it more realistic. Let's make more fun material. Choose default dress material and upload any GIF or GIF file and see what it will look like. Pretty cool, yeah? By the way, I want to show you how the dress will look with the full red vertex color. Maybe you will need a static dress. This is a static variation. It's also worked quite well. The dress keeps its form. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this video informative and inspiring. If you enjoy it and want to stay updated with the more exciting content like this, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Until next time, take care and stay creative!